Aria here. Sorry if it's a little echoey. Um, Jade and I are in the process of buying a house and we're cleaning the house that we're buying. Anyway, it's complicated. Um, so it's a big empty house and it's got this nice gray backdrop for me to do a live video on. So today's live video, uh, Sex Ed at Six, is going to be self-care down there vagina edition. So I'm going to be telling y'all some tips and tricks for keeping your bits as happy as they can be so that you can be happy because you're not worrying about your bits. So what are the things that you can do to keep your bits happy? First thing you can do is stop listening to all of those commercials that are like, your vagina is supposed to smell like flowers in a spring field. Vaginas are supposed to smell like vaginas. Now, that's not to say that they're supposed to smell grody because one of the signs of a pH imbalance is an overly strong smell, but vaginas have a natural smell and that's okay. So why are the things that make you vagina smell like flowers a bad thing? First of all, they can throw off your pH, which leads you at an increased risk of getting an infection. So that means yeast infection, UTI, bacterial infection, which can cause a whole host of other problems that we just don't want to deal with. So things like douching and using soaps, you just don't want to do it. Um, douching just flushes out everything and then soaps can actually kill the good bacteria that's preventing you from getting an infection. So I like to say that your vulva and your vagina in general are, it's its, its own ecosystem. It's got its own flora and fauna in the name of yeast and bacteria. And that's good yeast and good bacteria. And the whole idea of keeping your bits happy is that you want to keep them balanced. So you don't want to kill the good bacteria because that can let in bad bacteria. And you don't want to kill the yeast because again, that's helping to keep away the bad bacteria and the good bacteria is keeping the yeast under control. It's a little complicated, but it's pretty easy to do if you just follow these next couple tricks. So stop douching, stop using soap. Another thing that I really encourage is getting naked. So one of the best things that you can do is spend as much time naked as possible so that you give your vulva and your vagina a chance to breathe. Um, you can also just sleep naked. That will make a difference too, but just spend in as much time in your naked bare bottom self as you can. Another thing that you can do is change up your underwear. So lots of underwear on the market is like polyester and plastic and spandex and what you want to go to is an all natural cotton because it's a very breathable fabric. So if you think of the difference between a like thick polyester t-shirt versus like a soft cotton t-shirt in the summer and how the soft cotton just feels better that it feels cooler, there's more airflow, you're not getting overheated, you're not getting as sweaty. The same thing happens with your bits. Another thing that you can do to keep your bits happy is masturbate. Now the reason masturbation is so good is honestly so many reasons. So the first thing is that it is a way to flush things out of your body that um, your natural discharge and your natural vaginal lubrication can just flush out of your body. Um, and then it also helps just makes your mood better, honestly. Um, not a lot of times you're gonna masturbate and feel bad about it unless you have some like self-shame things that we can work on together, which I totally understand. But generally, it's good, those feel-good hormones that we want to get coursing through our blood so that we're having a good time. Um, another thing that you can do is have sex. Um, this is another way to give you those feel-good hormones and it's kind of like a workout for your bits. So you're getting those muscles active and you're getting blood through, 
sorry, blood flow to the areas that want to get flow to just again, to flush everything out of your system. Now, an important thing to do after you masturbate and after you have sex is to pee right away because the act of masturbation and the act of having penetrative sex can push things into the urethra that you really don't wanna be there. So you wanna flush out the bacteria and the yeast. Um, this is how you avoid UTIs. So those are the tips and tricks that I have for keeping your bits happy. Um, if you want to learn more information, shoot me a message. Just go to Basex, send us a private message. We'll answer all of your questions, or you can leave a comment down below and we'll get to those as soon as we're able to. Generally, Jade or myself is close to a phone, so we'll get a notification and we'll get you taken care of. All right, thanks for tuning in. Y'all have a wonderful evening.